if you're willing to organize and volunteer in the offices, if you are willing to stand with me, if you're willing to fight with me, I know your voice will matter. Outgoing U.S. President Barack Obama is widely acknowledged to be an exceptionally good speaker. But Juan Verde, who's worked with Obama, believes one of the main reasons that he'll go down in history as a great U.S. president is because he bet heavily on innovation and on entrepreneurs. He was an entrepreneur, someone who understood the power of innovation and understood that if he wanted to change the world, he had to change himself. He understood that what got you here is not going to get you there tomorrow. The world is going to be very, very different. The only way forward for Gibraltar, in my opinion, is understanding that only through innovation, only through entrepreneurship, only through understanding that we must reinvent ourselves continuously will we get there. As an environmentalist, Mr. Verde was on the rock with Vice President Al Gore in 2012 for the Thinking Green conference. Today, as a Democratic campaign advisor, he's still licking the wounds inflicted by Donald Trump's Republicans on the party led by Hillary Clinton in the US presidential elections. And I'm sure you all want to talk about a little bit about what's going to happen in the United States. Uh, I, I'm probably not the right person to answer those questions. I have no idea. But U.S. politics aside, Mr. Verde is feeling optimistic. Optimistic about the role innovation and technology play in bringing about a smarter world and in creating wealth. His advice to governments is to focus on helping entrepreneurs. He told the many local businessmen and women present today to think big and to think of selling not just to a Gibraltar marketplace, but to the rest of the world. And I think that's something that... Th that the UK um, is famous for because in a way it's a lot more similar to the United States and I know in Gibraltar also people do want to become entrepreneurs and be part of the private sector. So I think what we have to do is, is, is to promote a culture of innovation where people actually take risk. Well entrepreneurship and innovation are elements that really can uh, be fruitful in Gibraltar because of the size of the community, because of the level of interconnection and communication between the different elements of the community, whether it's government, the infrastructure, the regulator, uh, or certainly the industry, the various elements of the industry. People are able to work together here because they know each other and they're able to communicate well together. So in such an environment, entrepreneurship and innovation are especially possible. Innovation is something that has to be part of the recipe of everyone's business plan. Uh, you cannot remain in the way that you've been doing things for years because you'll be left by the side. And it is only people and societies that invest in innovation that will be able to succeed. The American Chamber of Commerce in Gibraltar seeks to promote commercial and cultural ties with the US. It hopes its lecture series will get people thinking and talking about new ideas.